Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Gunpla TV. It's Dorothy here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Choi Pla Railgun in Shadow Black and Pure White by Kaviko Models. Kaviko Models makes these really small, cute, compact kits that have very few runners, but you're able to build some really great, highly detailed models. A super simple one being the Mikan Kappa, which uses three runners and it's super adorable. I'm actually thinking of getting that one for my collection. Uh, a lot of their model kits have a compact feel entirely. The runners come clipped together so you don't lose anything. Most of the time they fit neatly in a clear package, as you can see here. So going back to the Choi Pla railgun, the main body is actually the original JGSDF Type 07 tank Natchin, which was released by Kaviko Models about over a year ago. Except these ones are in black and white, these ones here. Something really interesting is that the tank Natchin is an original design by a Twitter artist who goes by the username Moi. 72. Uh, I think it's really neat how Kaviko Models was able to bring Moi 72's creation to life. The rail guns and large generator unit are designed by a modeling company called Maru Toys? Maru Toys? Something like that. Can't pronounce it. Uh, so the rail guns and unit are black and white, and the main Natchin is solid in color. And then there are energy tubes. I think these are a nice touch because it really adds some contrast to the already boxy looking body. Like overall it's quite boxy, but the tubes add a little bit more pizzazz. But it's, it complements the whole model well. So the packaging is super simple. On the back you can see that three runners go towards the main body and then four runners go towards the rail guns and power generator unit. The instructions are printed directly on the package and they're super simple and easy to follow. Yes, there are no words but these diagrams are quite clear um, except for this thumb area. Uh, I think that in the instructions the thumbs are uh, the thumbs are, you're being instructed to put the thumbs in a different hole, but you can figure that out. Okay, so at the bottom, you can see some nice variations of the robot. Maybe these could be some kits that release in the future? Who knows? I think they're super cute. Okay, something that really stands out is that there are no stickers. So on the, on the paper that comes in the packaging, um, you have, there are no stickers here, but they give you these cardboard cutouts for the display eyes. And actually you will need to use an, an X-Acto knife or like a very sharp modeling knife to cut these out because you need to cut them out in exactly the shape that they're shown so that you can slide the eyes in the, in the um, Natchin's eye socket area. Yeah, well, of course, you can paint these eyes in as well. You don't have to use these display eyes. It's up to you. Okay, let's take a look at the articulation of the robot. So this is the basic Natchin tank. The arms can do a full rotation. The shoulders are able to move a little bit on the ball joints. The legs do not move separately, but they can go forward and backwards just slightly. And that's about it. Uh, this kit comes with a tail part. Super cute, but it, it needs to be angled downwards and it's quite loose too. Anyways, it needs to be angled downwards in order for it to stand freely. This is for both models, so it's definitely not any kind of mold error or anything like that. So maybe you, you need to add some glue or something to hold the tail in place. But yeah, so these models actually measure about 5 centimeters tall when fully assembled. Five centimeters, that's so small. And they fit really nicely 
in my hand. The shoulder bits come off, the ball joints easily, and they can be easily replaced with the rail guns. The tail as well comes loose nicely and the generator unit can fit quite snugly. And it's also a great tripod. It really helps the really helps the model stand. The generator has a small flexible kickstand, I guess, and it's pretty pretty sturdy. The energy tubes come out easily, but they stay in place if you connect them at certain angles. So you can you can also fix those with glue or something as well. There are no other movable parts, but I think it would be nice if the elbows could bend or if the fingers could bend a bit, but for now this is how it is. Okay, so what I really want to talk about are the eye displays. I've cut out all the eye displays and I'm pretty sure that the eyes for the original JGSDF Type 07 Nachin are slightly different. So for the eye displays that come in the railgun models have a different variety. So in Japanese, this one means charging and this one means railgun. Yeah, that's really cool. This one means um, version 7. And then the rest, you have some cute eyes. I like these red ones. It's like destroy mode or destruction mode. And then these green ones, kind of a worried look. And then these white, or what is it? Light blue, light blue eyes. Yeah, they, they really add character to the nachins. Yeah, they can slide really easily in the eye socket area. If you have long nails, you can pick them out and change them up. Or you can also use toothpicks or tweezers to just pry them out a bit. They come out quite easily actually. So yes, like I said earlier, you should use some glue or some kind of tape or just anything with a little bit of adhesive. Nothing too strong. There's no need for any super glue. Unless you want to. It's up to you. So I think that the eye displays, these display eyes are hard to see for the shadow black model, but but for the pure white model, it looks all right. It's pretty good. So yeah, you can also use paint or some kind of marker to draw them in. They're a little small, but I believe in you. I do prefer stickers, but I think that this was a pretty good idea for this design. And the head shape also allows for this kind of eye display card sliding in concept as well so so these models are quite plain if you don't paint them like they're solid in color but the rail guns are the only uh well the rail guns and the power unit they are they are the only things that are different and this is like this comes in the packaging but these pieces are actually the exact same as each other so you can you can change them up if you want or you can paint them like how I did. So I, I painted them so they can match. Just add some character to them. They're super cute. I think these kits are meant to be like a canvas for you to customize and add your own personality to these nachins. I definitely recommend this kit for anyone who wants to make something uncomplicated, straightforward, or who are like new to building. and. If you easily take a liking to really cute things, because that's totally me. And I'm definitely going to be uh, looking out for those uh, variations if Kaviko releases them in the future. I think those are all Moi 72's designs. I'm not sure. I'll double check though. Thanks for joining me on this review. Hope everyone's doing well, staying healthy, eating fruits, drinking fluids, and we'll see you next time on Gunpla TV. Hit that like and subscribe. Bye.